This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 18 of Diablo 3 on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were people, apart from, just off camera, I had a little bit of a play around with the clothing I'm wearing, just to refine a few bits and bobs. In fact, I've just realised you can actually, I said <laughs> in a previous part, I said you can't really view, zoom in on them, but you can actually go to this screen instead, start screen, have a proper good look at them. Looking pretty good, eh? Pretty sexy. So, pretty happy with all of that. Uh, I just refined it because we'd thrown a few other pieces on since we did our transmogging and everything else. So, we're back to back to looking spiffy people. Right, let's crack straight in. Our inventory is clear. Uh, well, apart from one bow that I seem to be walking around with, which... Uh, I'm now having a bit of a mind blank as to... I think I couldn't... Yeah, I couldn't ignore the uh, the dexterity and damage that thing was doing. So, we want to get the gem out of that boat. And I still don't know if I can put sockets onto items. It doesn't. I haven't found any way of doing it. Uh, I mean, it's possible it might be able to do it when you do a... Oh, a 63, plus 63 experience on that as well. It's possible that you, it, you might get it as a roll of the dice, maybe, when you put on the... Uh, you do enchantment, perhaps. But I certainly haven't seen any way of putting a socket on a... An item, which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, we shall uh, should we put it in our chest? Actually, that bow just for the time being. Ooh, actually, we forgot about the old doom seeker, didn't we? Which, and that's not got a socket on it either, to be fair. But even still, that was the one that I had from a previous playthrough. Which, and it's saying it's better than what we've got. Yeah, we'll lose the 63 experience per kill. But we're gaining... More dexterity. Uh, plus 3% damage as well. Plus 107 to 131 damage as well. And plus 204 vitality. Let's see what that does to our stats. Holy shit. That took our damage up from 7,900 nods to 9,030. Took our armor up from 79k to 98k. And it took our health up from 10.9 to 11.1. Everything going up. Bit of a shame to lose the experience on kill though. Damn. Right, let's stick the uh, stick that one in there for now. Right, well, that was a nice uh, nice little start to this episode. Bloody ridiculous. The, we're heading towards 10k for our bow damage now. Which is sweet as people. Right, we're heading to Ariat Crater level 1. Let's do this, people. It's a dark and gloomy place. Interested to see what happens at level 51 as well with these paragon points. Maiden of lust, I have need of your ample services. Drag yourself out of whatever carnal corner of the burning hells you lounge in and bring your daughters with you. Be wary. The enemy has proven to be both cunning and strong. I've always been using prey for you, have they not? Well, I don't think it's going to take as long to clock up some XP in here.
Well, I thought this was going to be the wrong way to go, which is why I came here first. And it is, a dead end. Thank you. <laughs> well, those little things aren't very obvious. Look at this guy in the background. Yeah, that little chest wasn't particularly obvious. Need to look out for those. We must carve our way through these foes. Their blood will pave our path. Transmog. So far, so good, people. It's not the most exciting of areas. It's quite dark and gloomy, isn't it? <laughs> not much to look at on the pretty side. Apart from our sexy selves. We didn't last long. For all his 
moaning and shouting. Your misbegotten kind is creation's greatest sin, but your time is done. That would not be wise. little globes everywhere to pick up. There was a shrine down there actually. I think. We have a marker people. Level 2 no doubt. Hour of the Damned, level one. All right. Waypoint! Even eternal torment. Back to where we started. Back to where we started. <clears throat> yeah, that's quite cool. Quite a cool staircase. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Destiny. Under the moon. Your presence. Or inside the moon, I should say. Every step brings you closer to my end. This demon is very strange. Spinning. Um, we've got a new legendary quiver, people. Ooh. <laughs> it always makes me want to give up something. Uh, everything's better. <clears throat> Apart from I have to lose my resource costs. I've uh, got a socket in it though. It's going to take everything up massively, isn't it? Yeah, it's another 600 nod onto... <clears throat> another 660 onto the damage. 0.7k onto the armor. 
and 0.5k onto the health. It's well worth doing. Okay. Do we have any gems worth putting in it, people? I've got a square. Now, if I remember rightly, is it... Um, I think it's classed as other. It's not classed as a weapon. So that's uh, resistance. Well, we could put resistances in it, right enough. Strength, intelligence, dexterity, vitality. Ooh, we have got a 750 life per hit, actually. What is our... What's our stats at for protection? Why is our dodge chance at 0%? And our block chance at 0%? What's that all about? I need to have a look into that. A dex character should have the ability to dodge, fuck's sake. <laughs> the chance to dodge... Dodge attacks do no damage. Dodge chance can be increased... By skills at any time. Oh, it seems to be triggered by skills which I'm maybe not using. You'd think there'd be some sort of base dodge stat though, blimey. Anyway, resistances are actually not so bad. We're all around the hundred mark or over. So I'm thinking. That's resist, yeah, plus 30 resist all elements. So do we want that or do we want plus 760 life per hit? Does it tell us how much life per hit we've got already? Well, that said, though, we've got some life per hit in it, haven't we? Am I being silly? Oh, it's life per second. So we're getting 560 life per second on it. Right, make your mind up, Steve. Right, let's do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've gone and done the same thing I always do, and uh, I've not read it properly, people. Shite. It was vitality. Life per hit was on the weapon. I need to go back. What a plum, people. I'm not living with that. I'm going to dive back and change it. Bear with me. Bear with the old man who can't remember and can't read things properly. Actually, hang on. Can we make a big one of these? A... Ooh, one shy of being able to make a... I was nearly able to make a, a big badge of that. So we'll go with the resist to all elements, which is plus 40 now that we've got a big one. Okay, so that takes us to... Yeah, look at all those resistances. Well, uh, some of them are hitting nearly 200 now. Yeah, happy with that. Marvellous people, like, right, back we go. Yeah, might as well just dump whatever we've got right enough. Right, onward. Where were we before? We were rudely interrupted by me not knowing what I'm doing, people. Uh, am 
we're not going back to where we've just been here, people. I thought this is how we, this is not this is where we came down, isn't it? Tower of the Damned level one, yeah, and we're in Devil level two. Ominously quiet. Oh, here we go. him for a wee visit, did you? Heart of the Damned. <clears throat> oh, there she is. Pain and suffering you're enduring. You must be dying to meet me. Got a spidery feel about her. I'm actually questioning myself a little bit as to whether or not I put the homing things on. No, I didn't. For some reason I thought my fiery arrows were a bit different. using any of my yellow bar at the moment when I'm using that move. It seems to be going up faster than I'm using it when I use that move.
barbarian only belt. Interesting. Well, this is becoming my new favourite move. If I'm not, if I'm not going to run out of any hatred or whatever it is. The chains tear at their flesh. Hear their screams. Such sweet music. Yeah, so it's going down. Unless it's bugged out. But I don't think so. Introduce myself. It might have done. It seems to be, it, it uses a little bit when I first start firing and then it just goes up again. Ooh, how invigorating. Play with my Nearly at level 51. I wish to tire you out. <laughs> Ooh, hello. I can feel the blood hemorrhaging from the Level up and ride your pony. You will pay for this. Right, that move's a bit different. This this move uses it. And this this move just seems to keep building it back up now. So I think I've missed a trick somewhere as to either I've taken something over a level that's just gaining it faster than I can use it. When I first fire my super arrows, it takes the tiniest bit off and then all it does is go up after that. Oh, hello. skills well that is interesting because I don't seem to be getting any paragon points and I thought you got paragon points at level 50 I'm still getting standard skills so that's slightly disappointing Well, that was a caltrips move. When bowlers explode, uh, sorry, bowlers. When bowlers explode, you have a chance to gain discipline. Increased hatred generated instead of backflipping. Yeah. Reduce damage taken while shadow power is active. Well, that's strange then, because I could have sworn it was level six, 50, where you, unless it only you only get paragon paragon points after finishing the game, but. We definitely didn't get any at level 50 or level 51, and we're still gaining these points. And I'll have to look into that. In Diablo 4, the minute you hit 50, it just starts giving you Paragon points instead. <laughs> hey, it's this little badger, is it? Ow. 
Ariat Crater level two. Oh, hello. Waypoint. Oh, there so she is again. Close now. So close. Definitely there's much point in going back. We don't have that many things. Just keep trundling along, people. Well, that guy's completely indestructible at the moment. Well, that'll do it. I mean, I can just <laughs> I'm just blasting through everything because I'm not running out of any of my uh, power move. Vengeance!
their true meaning. Your concubine, eh? Good grief. Sounds a bit prickly. Well, we went the right way first, the wrong way as it were. Tower of the Cursed level 1. Have we not been in the Tower of the Cursed before? Can't remember. No, it was Tower of the Damned, didn't it? Asmodan must be getting worried. He sends his strongest servants against us. <laughs> I do hope you're not in over your head. Why must she be so disgusting? Another waypoint, good grief. Waypoint. Wow, I actually got something out of it that time. That I don't want, but still. Hey. I'm confused. It's saying I'm right on top of a thing, so I must have to go down some stairs or something. Huh? Well, 
Well, I assume we need to be down there, but how the hell did we get there? I've got a plan, and it's as hot as my pants. think we're closing in on the end of this area. <clears throat> my mind is my own again. Saving people now. The missions never end. Pay for my freedom. I have only my own flesh and blood. Come, the maiden of lust lurks below. Nobody likes a lurker. Sidea, the maiden of lust, lured us with her damned promises. I'll never forget what she made me do. Well, it's suggesting that that necklace is better than what I've got on. Whoa, 223 decks. It's taking my experience off me again. Can roll the dice on some of this stuff, though. Try and get the experience back. Hey, vitality goes up. We we'll lose resist, though. Oh, we get double the life per hit that we've got at the minute. That's insane.
better boots apparently. Well, I don't want to give up my movement speed particularly. Heart of the Cursed. She's not gonna last long, is she? Look. I will enjoy playing with you. <laughs> Destroy the sin heart. She didn't even get to finish her sentence, bless her. Well... Core of Ariat. This is where Asmodan's evil thrives. Waypoint. Not for long. Covered some ground in this episode, people. Nearly another level up. Apparently nicer than the gloves I've got. Dex is down, vitality is up, critical chance up, reduces resource costs, fire skills deal 70% increased damage. Eh. Go stick with what I've got, thanks. Whoa, 
level up and ride your pony. Yeah, it's still unlocking the normal stuff, isn't it? Kill Asmodan, really? Already. Well, I think I'll have a little sip of my water first. Heart of sin. Let's do this. If this isn't a boss fight waiting to happen, I don't know what is, people. Nephilim fool. When the soul stone is embedded in my flesh, the seven shall be as one within me. I will be the sum of all hells, the prime evil. Hell, how much stuff? I did not mean to hit that. We've done it! Quickly now, Leah! Trap Asmodan's essence within the Soul Stone! It's done! I never dared dream. All evil lies trapped within that stone. Once it is destroyed, the eternal conflict will finally end. Destroying the stone is no simple matter. There are rituals to consider. We must return to the keep and make our final preparations. Nice. Return to Bastion's keep. I oh, will do that in just a second. I'm pretty sure we've picked everything up. And there's nothing else going on in here. Picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, look at that bow. Look at the two bows. 300 and odd. Jesus Christ. Well, the armor's come down and the health's come down, but the damages go way up. Get experience per kill off of this one as well. Extra damage, extra vitality, lose dex though, we lose 235 dex. Don't want to do that. I thought dex increased our attack. Yeah, that one's got dex on it, 266 dex. So one of them's got dex, one of them's got vitality. Uh, Now that's actually life after kill that bow. It's not life on. Yeah, so everything comes down on that. It's a massive drop in vitality though. We're on 1331 vitality at the moment. Yeah, it takes our attack up by 1.6k. I don't understand how that one, I thought that one was 
That's because of the decks, the attack goes back up on it. So that took our decks down, it must have done. Yeah, it did. Yeah, see, interestingly, the one that had the less damage on it has taken our... damage up more than the one that actually says more damage and it's because of the decks I'm sure of it goes down to 1953 that you put that lesser one on goes up to 12.2 so we lost a lump of, de of vitality but we gained decks Yeah, it's another 2.2k of damage. Oh, well, attack. Uh, did we get our... Oh, for fuck's sake. That one... Oh, well, reduces cooldown of all skills, but... I don't know. I might try and make a bow, actually. Hundred and seventy one decks is more vitality we get back from what we've just lost. Another two hundred vitality pretty much. We're getting five hundred and fourteen life per hit on the ones we're wearing though. And we've got plus thirty four physical resistance. Picking up gold grants experience. Holy shit. What's emanate emanates? Oh emanates. I'm not sure what that means in brackets emanates. Each stunned enemy within 25 hours. Uh, well, we're losing life per hit, but I think we've got it on a weapon anyway. Picking up gold makes experience is quite cool though. Yeah, it brings our brings our health down because of that. Felt like I picked up way more than I well, picked those up. Yeah, well, there's boots there with way more on them that I just decided not to put on. I don't want to lose my movement speed, did I? Vitality and dex. Resist all elements and armor. No, I'm definitely not going to put those on. We'd need sockets if they were going to be any good. Got plus 60 to resist to all elements on those trousers. Right, let's do this. Let's go back to the keep. I am returning to town. Returning to town. Bastion's keep once more. Christ, we only just hit the hour mark. Did all right there. We've covered a lot of ground in one part there. Right, let's dump what we don't need. I can't think why I'm hanging on to that. Well, it's not that much better than what we've got on, is it? But I think we should try and make a bow rather than...
We don't have life pit on our bow, actually. I'm forgetting that. Where are we with our bow making? Whoa, level 47. I think we tried a level 47 there, did we not? Was it a 45? Yeah, I mean, that's not making anything near 300 and odd yet. Way less. So that's a level 51 bow that we're on there. Level 50, yeah, we need level 54 to make those ones. So let's not do any more of that. Can do a level 50 crossbow. A little bit more like it, but still not as high. It's got a socket in it, though. 69 experience per kill, though. Right, let's uh, just dump that stuff. I'm not going to use it. It's getting a bit frustrating, people. Actually, that's got poison damage on it, the one we've put on. Ah, sod it. Let's just put it. Let's just put it on. Get rid of the other one. Never ye mind, eh? Let's be brave, people. Yeah, we've still got that badger on as well. Well, Martyr, Get the gem out of that. Demonic treasure. Level 53 rare Templar relic. Right, well, I think that's an ideal place to wrap it up, people. We will kick off more of the story and see what happens after beating Asmodan in the next part. We're still only in Act 3. I'm sure there's five acts, so plenty more story to be doing after this, and I think the last playthrough I did, I think we ended up on level 60 odds. So we're about 10 levels behind where I was level up wise from the finished character I did last time, but I'm pretty sure that playing on the harder difficulty like we are, we get more XP, so we might have leveled up a lot faster than we did in, the, in my previous playthrough about five years ago. On normal, well, there you are, folks. Thoroughly enjoyed that once again. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Diablo 3 on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.